Hi, in this video we'll take a look at how you can easily download any number of photos from MWater or Solstice without having to do it manually one by one. This means you can bring out all the photos you may have collected as part of a survey, or maybe all the water points you've been mapping, or sanitation facilities, whatever photos you have access to. And the steps we're going to take are first to create a data grid with the right data source to create this list of these images, just the list of the images you want to download. And then we're going to make sure that that data grid includes a photo question. We're going to download that data grid into a spreadsheet, which will then give us the URLs of all of those photos. And then we're going to use a third party file downloader. And there are many of these available. And there are a few examples here, such as the simple NAS downloader or the free download manager. And then we just paste that list of URLs into that tool and it will download them for us. So let's get started. Data grids is what we'll begin with. They are our solution, our response to spreadsheets. And I'm going to create one from manage data grids. I'm going to create a new one and let's come up with a list of photos that we actually want to download. I'll pick a simple example, create a new one, select a data source water points. I'll select the water points here in Finland where I'm staying and I will filter them down to only the ones that are publicly managed to get a small list. I will add a few columns to my data grid. For reference, I might as well add the name, unique ID, and then absolutely critically, the photo question. Once I do that, I get this table. And here we see the names, the unique IDs, and the photos. Now these are clickable links. If I click one, it will open that image. And these are what we're going to use to download them in bulk. So the next step was to download this as a spreadsheet. We open that file. And here we see that these clickable links are actually full URLs. This is the information we need to give to the third party tool so that it knows what to download. So then we just need to get that tool. So I'm using the simple mass downloader. You can find it here in the Chrome web store. I already installed it, but installing it is very easy. I just click add to Chrome. And there we have it. What's happened? It's been added here on the top right to this little extensions pop up for me. And here I can just activate it by clicking simple mass downloader. And it pops up this little window for me. So what do we put in this window? Well, in my case, I want all of these photos. So I'm just going to control C, copy this list to my clipboard, and then control V, it into this window. So now the three URLs have been pasted here, select them all and set to download. And we see that the system immediately we queues them up and starts downloading them. And I've now gotten all these three files named, and this could be 300 files, it could be 1,000, 3,000, whatever you need. This will do the work for you, and it'll save them with the corresponding names you have in the file. And that's how you get bulk downloaded photos onto your computer. So one more recap. We created a data grid, getting the list of the photos we want to download. We did that by making sure there's a photo question in that data grid. Then we downloaded it into a spreadsheet so that we got the URLs. And then we activated a third party file downloader, in this case, the simple mass downloader, pasted that list of photo URLs there and just set it to download. That's how it easy it can be. So there you go. Hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching.